just when we thought 2020 couldn't get any worse, this happened. You guys, the U.S. has just put a ban, basically, for so many international students in America this fall 2020. Welcome to Chine Coaching. I'm Rob. This sucks, but you guys asked me to make a video, so let's do this. Grab some chai and join us. <sighs> Friends, I just want to start off by saying I'm sorry. Uh, this has been rough. This year has already been rough. Early this year, the U.S. instituted immigration bans, and then more recently, bans and restrictions on the H-1B program. And now for F-1 international students, this is crazy. Um, I don't know what's happening. Um, I don't really like to get too political, but I just want to say I'm sorry. This is nuts. This is crazy. My phone has been blowing up today. Uh, we just got our kids to bed, so I'm going to make a quick video to help you guys out. Try and line some stuff up, make it a little clear. Uh, I'm not going to be able to answer everything because the colleges are scrambling and going crazy too because this is news to them. And so yeah, we're going to figure this out together. But here's a few important things that we know that are going to help you guys out. So first of all, online classes are not going to be allowed is your complete curriculum. So what's hard is because of COVID, universities, many of them in America, have already chosen to do all online classes. So if you're an F1 international, also M1 international student, you are not allowed to take a full online course load. You either will have to transfer universities, which is allowed, or go back home. You will literally be deported from America. And if you are also planning to be at a college or take an online course load, you will not be allowed into America if you have gone home for some reason. So the only way you can stay and study in America right now is to have in-person classes, um, either a full in-person load or hybrid, which I know UT Dallas, my friends down the street, which is crazy, like you guys are students, there's over a million of you in America, and you guys are people. You're not just a number, you're not just a graduation diploma certificate, you're not just dollar signs, you're people. And I'm hurting for my friends with all this craziness and uh, these ups and downs and roller coasters for you guys. Uh, just trying to come here, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I know UTD has the hybrid, many other colleges are having hybrid. If you're doing in-person classes, you're allowed to up to one online class. You can do three credit hours or one class online as long as your others are in-person. They haven't specified anything yet about the CPT and OPT. I haven't read anything yet. So for jobs, internships, jobs after graduation on your F1 status, we haven't learned anything yet. My guess is those should be okay for now because they haven't specified anything yet. But let's let's be careful. It's you know a lot of news is going to come out these next couple days. So what you guys need to do is one double check if your college is going to allow in-person classes this fall, um, which stinks because if you have a health risk or you're in a at-risk category for COVID, that means in order to stay in America you have to go to classes instead of be safe at home. Um, this is frustrating, but to stay in America you have to take in-person classes. So make sure your college is offering that. If not talk to your college, talk to your international student department, see what your options are, see if you can transfer. The crazy thing is college starts in just a couple months this fall. This is a really short notice to try and transfer to a whole other university, to move, to shift, to get across the country during a pandemic, to attend in-person classes there. Uh, this is nuts. I am so sorry for you guys. Um, but yeah, hopefully, you know, in this season, I was hoping that the government would be relaxed, give grace, give extensions, you know, for things, make things easier. But I think things have only gotten harder. And so I'm super sorry. Um, I hate this for you guys. I really do. Um, I wish I could do more to help. So there has been one quote, one statement says that there will still be accommodations to provide flexibility to schools and non-immigrant students, which are the F1 students. So hopefully the schools can work something out, uh, make some accommodations. I know the schools are going to be fighting for you guys. I know your colleges care for you. So talk to your professors, talk to your advisors, talk to the international student departments at your colleges. Uh, they're the ones that are going to be helping you guys out. And so, yeah. Ask the questions, uh, go to the sources, let the colleges fight for you guys. Um, they're gonna be your advocates. NASFA is another great organization. I'm gonna have their link for you guys. They're another great advocacy group for internationals and international students in America. So be sure to track their stuff and also stay up to date on the USCIS and US government websites. I'll have links for that as well. So in summary, if you have in-person classes, you're gonna be okay. But if your college is only offering online classes, or if you have a health risk which keeps you from going to in-person classes and you have to take online classes, that's where the problem's gonna come from. So let's do our homework, let's do our research. There's gonna be a lot more news coming out the next few days. Uh, stay in tune with your college. They're gonna guide you, we're gonna try and help guide you. Um, this is crummy, uh, this is hard, this stinks. 
Uh, I hope it's going to get better. I'm definitely supporting, praying for you guys, and yeah, let's help each other out. Um, yeah, I wish I had more words to say. I'm just frustrated. And so let us know in the comments what you guys are thinking, what questions you have. Uh, let's see how we can help each other out. Um, I guess cheers, and we'll see you guys next time.